notepads <laughs> so i had a pretty stressful work week and i completely forgot to print off any sheets for the notepads so we'll see how successful this is today <laughs> i did want to play around with the settings to see if i could get them to print off any faster another thing that i want to share with you guys really not important but i want to share it anyway because i'm super happy about it <laughs> i got a new keyboard and i got a mouse they're wireless i've wanted one for ages. My old one, they were wired. It was really awkward because the wires didn't really, um, really stretch very far. So I used to have to, when I was using my mouse, I'd have to use my mouse like right back here. <laughs> and now I can pull it forward and I have to stretch my arm as much. So that's really nice. The keyboard, my last keyboard I had for like 10 years. It was like, I got it in 2014. This one was on offer and I couldn't say no. It's so nice. It's silent touch and even the mouse like when you click it, it's so silent and I love it so much. My other keyboard that I had for my computer, I realized the buttons were like getting really stiff. I mean, it was 10 years old, of course. It was very old and gross anyway, but the buttons were getting really stiff. And then I bought this and I just, it's so much easier to type it out. I feel like I'm not having to like really hit the keys anymore. And it's silent as well. I tend to wake up very early in comparison to the other people in my life. So I might start working at like eight in the morning while they sleep till like 11 and like 11 in the morning. So I often get worried that I'm gonna wake them up with like my clicky clacks on the keyboard. And now I don't have to worry because this one's nice and silent and it's so nice. And I just wanted to share that because it brought me so much joy. <laughs> so notepads. I have been using my notepad actually, the notepad I made last time. Uh, I've been using it. I really like it. I really, really like it. It's really nice. Um, it's the lines are great sizing. There's great spacing. I'm very, very happy with it. It's very, very nice. <laughs> oh, another thing I want to do this weekend is um, I want to make coaster packaging as well. Um, actually, this is a question I wanted to ask you guys about the tumblers. The tumblers come in like these boxes, right? They're not the prettiest. I mean, they're from the manufacturer. It's like you've, they've got like the manufacturer thing all over it. Doesn't look great. However, I just don't know how comfortable I am wasting these boxes and then buying more boxes. I feel like that's a really big waste. As much as I don't like these, I might use these for packaging when people order these tumblers. Because they are good little boxes and I know I could get more that are like, I, I know I could get new ones that are plain, but I'm just like, that's a lot, a lot of wasted cardboard and I'm not sure how okay I am with that. I don't, I don't love waste. So I wanted your opinion on how yes or no would you be okay with receiving a box like this it is just a box i know coming from a small business it might be a bit like weird because it's not like it's got like a different person's brand on it i was thinking about maybe like covering it up somehow but i don't know how i'd do that i just don't want to waste the boxes because that feels like a lot of waste for someone who wants a sustainable business i don't want to have to like throw loads of cardboard and stuff away <laughs> Okay, so I'm super super hack so I was gonna say happy and then changed my mind and was gonna say excited. I am very happy and excited right now. Um, I think I got the planner sheets to print out a bit faster. So I was using them on the semi-gloss premium setting high quality because that is the best way that I can get them to come out looking really good. When I was doing them on plain paper beforehand, they were coming out really bright and grainy. What I did was in Photoshop, I actually just messed the settings and I turned the saturation up a little bit and I turned the contrast up and then I turned the brightness right down. Let me just show you guys. So this is how they were coming out. Okay, it looks a lot darker on camera. I don't know if you can tell the difference on camera. This is a lot brighter and it looks a lot less like 
just not in, like a lot of contrast it just doesn't look great it looks very faded out is what that looks like and this one is the one where i turned the darkness and contrast like right up it looks so much better i am so happy with that i think that looks awesome it looks pretty much identical to the what when i was doing them as with like the premium semi gloss setting so i am so excited about that there is a little bit of a white line at the top there in the corners like kind of cut off a little bit so i'm gonna have to do a little bit of tweaking for this one i also did the same for my uh other planner pad that i'm doing so as you can see this one's a little bit darker this one's a bit more faded out this one wasn't as bad because i do want it to be like a lighter design but i like this one a little better so i think i'm gonna start printing these ones out first get 50 of these done and then i can fix this afterwards just get a couple of these started you know i've got my first sheet right here that i can use so super super excited that's so awesome let me actually just show you guys as well the comparison so this this one here was like the one that's um done on premium semi-gloss paper it took about three minutes to print out and then this one this one is not the one on plain paper where i just darkened everything it actually the saturation the colors are a bit more brighter as you can see this one looks a bit duller so i actually think i prefer this in terms of like it looks nice and saturated and the colors are all pretty so i'm very very happy with that okay so i just really quickly whipped this up i found some cellophane bags that are like five inches by seven inches on amazon which are going to be pretty good for the size of the coasters because they're about about that size i think this will be it'll, it'll be pretty long the coaster will probably be like this big within it but that's good because it leaves space for the text and stuff so i just quickly whipped this up nothing special but it, you know it's gonna look cute in the packaging and stuff i've got those printing out they're printing out pretty quickly i've already got like a pretty decent uh pile here so that is awesome super happy with that i'm gonna continue printing them out and i'm gonna go for lunch right now because it's like half 12 so i'm getting kind of hungry and then yeah, we can start whipping up these notepads. I'm hoping with the speed it's going, I can get at least three of each design done today. And I'm pretty confident I can, cause like I said, they are printing out probably like one per minute. So I'm pretty happy with that. That is pretty, pretty awesome. I'm so glad that I finally figured it out. Okay, so it's been like an hour. It is like 20 to two right now. I had them printing off while I was like taking lunch and I've just been sat here. I'm um, not really doing much to be honest because I can't really do the coasters right now. I did, I did buy the cellophane bags for the coasters so they'll be arriving tomorrow so I think I might leave the coasters till tomorrow to do. I want to get the notepads done today but I kind of, I'm getting a bit bored of just sitting here doing nothing and like I don't really have much to vlog because I'm just sitting here waiting for the notepads. And I think I'm going to just do some art for now while these print off. I may be able to get one notepad done. I think I might do one notepad first and then and then go ahead and do some drawing and stuff because I think this one's almost done. I really should have just done this to start with. Like I, what I just did was I grouped them into like 10 and then I just kind of put them on top of each other like, like that so I can see how many groups of 10 I have and that'll make it a lot easier to know how many I've actually got. I've got um, 43 right now so after that batch is finished I'll have about 50. Okay, so it's done. It's 10 to 2. Um, I have 53 sheets of paper here, so I can finally put together my first notepad. I am so excited. I am just giving this one another little go because last time I printed it off, it still had that white border there, and I want to do this one next. Okay, I got the cork board. I didn't realize there's like a white, like, like a white thing around it, and like it looks like it's digging into the board. So I'm hoping the that the boards aren't ruined because of that. Um, oh, there is like, why have they done that? Oh, this is actually really thin. Huh. Because they wrapped it so tightly, like it's really, it's ruined the, co it's ruined the board. And also the board is really thin. Huh. I can't use this. Well, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this now because I've opened it, so I can't really send it back now. I spent 37 pounds on that chipboard. Oh, that hurts. That that's painful. That's very painful. <sighs> okay, so I got two of the craft boards. Uh, in the pictures, they looked quite thick, <laughs> and I got 40 of them. I'm gonna have to wait till tomorrow to do the notepads, but that's okay because I am still waiting for them to print out. So today I will just focus on printing them out. I will probably, because I'm waiting for the cellophane bags tomorrow for the coasters as well, so I might cut up 
print and cut those tonight as well and just get those ready for tomorrow and then tomorrow we can construct everything because we'll have everything ready to go so i'm probably just gonna have to do that now instead i don't really know what to do with all this now maybe i'm thinking if i could use it for like some sort of packaging thing because i don't want it to go to waste i'm just like it is quite thin so I'm like thinking maybe it would make good for like packaging and stuff. I don't know. Maybe I could cut it up and like use it for like backing cards as well for certain things. If I am shipping stickers and I want to make sure they don't like print and I want to make sure they don't get bent, I could always cut this up and put them in. later now it's like 5 p.m um i have been testing out like all my prints and stuff but i do have two planners done so one cottage core one of my small business ones the cottage core ones have been causing so much issues so i think this one's probably a better one to show as an example for some reason they, they print off fine like they'll print off absolutely fine like this um when I pr I'm printing off 10 at a time but in those 10 that are printing out there's always one that has a white edge and I'm like I don't know why there's just one that is coming out with a white edge I thought it might be like the paper not being properly aligned and like the in the back of the printer or whatever and I try to change it and it just isn't helping and I'm just like I don't <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just having to like let it be basically because i don't know what to do about it because this one's giving me so much issue i'm just gonna leave this one as is for now i think i was gonna do another one like see here as well look it's like a little white line there i'll probably do more of these tomorrow and i might just try to get my small business one done today like a cut maybe like a one or two more of these because this one this cottagecore one is just really enraging me because i don't know why it's acting up so much Um, I've just counted all the sheets out. I had to go through them all and count out 52 sheets for each notepad, um, which was quite tedious, but it's good that I did it because yesterday, because I was like doing other things around waiting for the printer to print off, I wasn't 100% sure all the prints were coming out properly because as I told you yesterday, some of them, especially the cottagecore ones, not so much these ones. I've only had like, I think two or three of these sheets overall. Um, come out with like white lines on them maybe it's just that a couple of sheets are like kind of going in a bit slanted or something it, it happens quite a lot with like when i've done printing before small business ones because i was doing other stuff i felt comfortable kind of just leaving them to print out knowing that like they'd all be okay the cottage core ones i just feel like i have to watch them so i think if i can add more bleed onto them and make it like a little bit more just roomy and like leave less room for errors then i'll be able to walk away from them and that'll make the whole process a little bit easier on me the planner design it took like an hour um i did it in probably the slowest way i possibly could have done it by just hand doing everything like hand drawing all the lines and everything but i think that was the best way to do it there was a couple of little things as well that i wanted to change so i just thought you know what we're just gonna start again with this planner <laughs> it's been a nightmare so far so i'm hoping 
now it's going to be a lot better there's a lot more bleed around the edges so hopefully that fixes the issue because the cozy planner has been a nightmare so i'm just gonna grab a quick coffee and then we can get back to it and hope that it's fixed now i actually was just thinking because like i'm waiting for them all to print out now like my cottage core ones which are coming out a lot better by the way let me show you guys like there's a lot more space around the edges hopefully we don't get many of the um lines and stuff going through them so they do look a lot better now so i'm a lot happier but anyway as i was saying now, now that i'm waiting for them to print out again uh, i don't have anything to do um I, I can't do the coasters yet because i'm still waiting for the cellophane bags and i can't do the other notepads i've already got like a quite a big pile of them over on my printer as you can see there's like i've got quite a few already I, but i can't even make those because i don't have the chipboard yet so i'm kind of like what do I do? So I think I'm just gonna, while I'm waiting for everything to print out, just play some Stardew Valley. Um, I, the chipboard is actually on its way. I am going out later though, which is really annoying. I really hope it arrives before then. I might have to stay in for it because I'm a bit worried that if I'm not in for it, they'll take it away and they will re try to re-deliver it another day, which I don't want them to do because I really want to get these notepads done today. I want at least one or two notepads done today, so might just have to stay inside today until it arrives but that's that, that kind of sucks but i'll update you guys if anything happens okay so i have been playing stardew valley for a little bit it's in the background there i'm actually gonna pause it um it's still printing off but i did get another 52 sheets done so that's two cottage core notepads that i've got so far um so the craft board just arrived as well. Uh, I am gonna go see my family now that I'm not having to wait for this. Um, so that's awesome. It arrived at a really good time. I am, before I go, just gonna double check to make sure it's okay, because <laughs> the last batch was not uh, good. It was very disappointing. I also got some cellophane bags with it, some small ones. I don't know why. Oh, wait, no. I did order these as well. This, I, this was a separate order. This is for my coasters, so I can get my coasters done today, the backing cards. I still need to print those off, actually, but I'll do that when I get home. I thought, because they came in, like, the same bag, so I thought, like, the people who sent me the craft paper had also sent me the cellophane bags, but no, I, I ordered those separately. Those are for the coasters. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a lot, lot better. That is perfect. It looks a bit small, though. I'm worried about that. Not, it's perfect so i'm very happy with that i am gonna go have dinner with my family now and then we are going to come home and uh get these notepads finally made I okay so i just got back from dinner with my family the i don't know if i said this already but the plow pads are coming out perfect that little bit of extra bleed has been doing so so good and then i'm gonna do the coasters with the coasters i did actually like the they're gonna be like five by seven in terms of like the packaging size like of the backing card and everything which is quite a lot i don't really want to use my nice paper for that because it's gonna take up like i'm gonna have to do one per sheet of paper what i was thinking that backing card that i bought the the chipboard that isn't gonna work for my notepads i was thinking i could use that put it in the back put like a thin plain paste piece of paper like, rather than using like my nice paper i just use plain paper that i've been using for the notepads put it like with the backing card or the, the chipboard in the packaging make it seem like it's a little bit nicer a little bit more stable than a plain piece of paper and then put the coaster in so i'm gonna hope that works because that will save me a lot of really expensive paper because i don't love using my expensive paper for um just backing card stuff okay so this is the chipboard from yesterday just for comparison as well in terms of thickness that's how the difference is like the top one the one from yesterday is like paper the bottom one is a lot thicker which is what i wanted for these notepads but i'm super glad i have found a use for these at least so i'm gonna cut some up for the binder clips <laughs> I 
Okay, um, you know what? This will be pretty good for like a surface as well while I'm doing my, my um, while I'm doing the notepads while I'm gluing them. It's a pretty good little surface there. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. I think we just need to get the glue on there now, pretty much. Oh God, this glue is shut. It's glued together. No, the lid. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, I'm just gonna do it a little bit at a time and start with this edge. Okay, oh God, this is really scary. I think it's cause this is like the first proper one I'm doing. It's scarier than last time because last time I was like, oh, I'm just testing them. This one's like, no, this one, this one's like real. This one's actually like supposed to like be a one I can sell, so. And I also don't wanna mess up this many sheets of paper. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna get another, oh, binding clip and put that down there for now. Keep this part clamped while we do the other part. And then I'll move to the middle. I'm not really sure. This feels like I'm not doing it right like last time. I don't know, it feels wrong. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. Maybe if I like put it on the ground, that would be a bit better actually. This feels a lot messier than last time and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's cause it's more sheets of paper. So I'm, it's like a little, it's weirdly harder, I guess, <laughs> to like hold it down in one hand and do this. I know a lot of people have those clamps. Maybe I should look into those, like where you can like have the paper and have it upright and it'll clamp it down like so you can, it's like for books, I think as well, where it you can kind of clamp it down and you use it for like doing the spine and stuff. Okay, I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna put another piece of chipboard on here and then put the final thing, the binder clip here hmm i need another one i think another binder clip okay hopefully that works i think if i'm gonna do this i definitely will need one of those clamps so while this is drying i'm gonna have a quick little look to see how much they are um and maybe think about purchasing one because this is kind of hard to do honestly <laughs> so just i'm still waiting for this to dry but just so i'm not having to wait too long I'm gonna leave the top three on for it to dry properly while it dries to hold it down. But I'm gonna take the bottom ones off so we can use them on the next one. And while this dries, we can do the next one and get a few of them sorted and ready. So I've glued this one up. I think for this one, the only issue is the top one here, the top page is the only one that isn't fully glued down. So this one might have 51 pages rather than 52, which I am gonna put a disclaimer on my Etsy shot about this by the way Because I'm never gonna be a hundred percent sure if something has 52 pages if I'm doing this at home by myself Like I could miscount or there could be an instance like this where like it's the, the top page doesn't glue properly and comes off um, There will always be around 52 pages I will try my best to make sure they are 52 But for all I know there could have been 53 pages in this and I miscounted and like and now it, there is 52 because the top one has come off Like I, I just don't know 100% Okay, so attempt number two I'm gonna be more careful to like line it up this time like I thought I lined it up pretty well last time but I think I don't know, it's pretty hard to line up when you're just um, doing it by hand. So I'm gonna have to be very careful that they're all... I wonder if there's a better way of doing this. <laughs> Second one, done. I think the first one that we did should be ready. So I'm gonna go and see how that one looks. Oh yeah, that is nice and dry. So let's take these off. Perfect. This one, the top one, I am gonna take off just cause it's not really that well stuck down. So I'm gonna take that one off. It is a little messy at the top, not too bad. Um, it's pretty well stuck down, so I feel pretty confident about selling that. It is slightly messy at the top, but like I said, first planner um, ever. First sellable planner ever. You guys can't even see it. <laughs> I'm such a bad YouTuber, it's ridiculous. Come on, first ever sellable planner. 52 sheets of paper. It's looking good, it's feeling good. I am so happy. The only thing that bothers me about this is the top is a little messy, but it's something I will get used to doing and something I will perfect. I am so happy about this. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I have a planner that I made at home by myself. I don't even need a manufacturer this whole time. Perfect. I just need to wait for this one to dry, which I think this one, in terms of like glue and stuff, has gone a bit better, if I'm honest. We've got about four more of these to 
do think what I'll do is um because obviously I've got to wait for them to dry in between each one I can probably do like one and then like while that's drying do another one but um it's because I've got to wait for them to dry a little bit I think I'm just gonna like do intervals of like playing Stardew Valley I don't have a problem okay I can stop anytime I just if I have a little bit extra time while I'm waiting for some glue to dry why not play it I don't have a problem okay <laughs> and yeah that will be oh no that won't be it I've got to do the coasters the reason I haven't done them yet is because I'm waiting for the planner pads to print off still so I kind of can't do them right now I had like a pack of 500 sheets up there um so when I started this whole uh notepad business and they are almost completely gone so if you're wondering how many sheets I've used in this whole process it's around 500 <laughs> now so while I leave those to dry I am going to quickly package up the coasters um, I printed them out here so they're quite big um, backing cards uh, I'm gonna use them with these and put them into the cellophane bags I have four coasters in total so it shouldn't take too long oh, that is a lot harder to cut perfect and then for these that in maybe it would have been better in blue because then i guess the coaster won't blend in too much to the backing card but i didn't do that they're pink <laughs> they are pink and they're saying that way can we get our coaster a little big like the packaging's a little big for the coaster but that's okay it's a bit, very big actually <laughs> the packaging's a little big for the coaster what I might do is I might just make the text a little bigger because it looks a bit weird having so much space there so what I might do is just make the text a bit bit bigger or just bit like further down I guess because <laughs> I don't I don't I don't like how that looks to be honest so I think I'll try again <laughs> So I printed it off again. I made the text a bit bigger and I changed it to blue to give it a try Put the text a bit further down. I might cut off this top edge and make the I'm a bit smaller I'm not sure we're gonna just see how it goes. I might have to change it again It's a much better size anyway. I'll give it that Fucking hard Fucking design and then coaster. Oh Yeah, that's a lot lot better that is looking a lot better a lot lot better i'm very happy with that that looks pretty good could the text be a bit further down possibly but does it bother me that much no <laughs> well it's not what i had planned for this but it has actually come in very good use so <laughs> it wasn't a complete letdown that chipboard that i got you know what i just realized that just occurred to me the reason that i probably hadn't thought about packaging them was because i haven't taken product photos of them yet which means I'm gonna have to rip them open and take them back out at some point. It is what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness, they look so good. Oh my gosh, my first ever coasters for my small business. I'm so excited. <laughs> I can't wait to do more coasters as well. I do plan to do more next launch, but later in the year, so that's so exciting. <laughs> and look at these, I've got three each of my notepads they are ready they are looking so good i'm so so excited this has been a good weekend it's been successful it's been a little bit of a trial and error weekend but it has been successful i got three notepads ready i want five of each so i probably will do a little bit more of these i i don't know how popular they're gonna be my other planners on my shop aren't that popular but they are really small planners these are weekly planners so 
yes, I am very, very excited to put these on my shop. Ah, um, oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got three of those. I'll probably try to do another two during the week or next weekend uh, when we vlog. But yeah, got those done. Got the coasters done. I am so, so happy. Finally, my launch feels like it's coming along. All there's left to do now is wait for that restock and then take product photos um, when they when the restock comes in, which it is on its way. It is in the country now, so not too much longer left to wait. I am so excited. <laughs> If you guys like this video, then please subscribe and also check out my last video where I did some reorganizing and also made tumblers for my small business launch. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!